Hello, good morning. My name is Ilma and this is from your Ilma Arts Channel Studio. And today I'd like to share with you my palm devotional entitled All the Days of My Life and my painting, well, which is an art talk about uh, landscapes and uh, perspective. And my poem devotional is extracted from Psalm 27, verse 4, which says that the one thing I ask of the Lord, the one thing I seek most, most is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfection and meditating in His temple. And here's my poem, all the days of my life. When I wake up each morning and behold the daylight, I thank God for my life, the wisdom and insight. I seek the grace and mercy for all my iniquities. I delight in His perfection and truth that brings integrity. The one thing I ask of the Lord all the days of my life is to bring me closer to Him and stay in His bright light. I meditate on His Word so I can be with Him constantly. I hear his voice and experience his love more intimately. And here is the essay part of the devotional, which is entitled, Delighting in God's Perfection. As soon as I gain consciousness from my sleep, I always say Psalm 117, which is, the, by the way, the shortest psalm of all, and put on God's armor on Ephesians uh, 4, verse uh, I mean, Ephesians 6, verse 11 and 14 to 18. This way I protect myself from the world's noise and the enemy's tactics. On certain times that I miss it, my day is beset with so many distractions. The only way we can delight in Him is by knowing Him through His Word. Without seeking Him through His Word and truth, we cannot enjoy an intimate relationship with Him. Lord, pur purify my heart for you. Reflection, why would seeking God daily bring you to delight in, in His perfection and bring intimacy between the two of you? And this... We, I end my poem devotional, and um, I'll shift now to the art talk. And this is a painting entitled uh, Island Lake View. Um, again, as I was saying yesterday, I love um, using wood as a medium for my painting. So this is on wood, acrylic on wood. And I'd like to talk about perspective in color today. And usually perspective in color I actually broke the rule in perspective in color because in color warm colors advance as I talked yesterday warm colors are red yellow um, and uh, orange they are warm because they you know they are associated with warm things like the fire the Sun so that's why Sun is yellow the fire is red so that's why these are warm colors and warm colors usually has an advancing effect when you look at a when you you get attracted to a warm color that's why as I said yesterday McDonald's uses red and yellow to attract people to see their signage and get them into buying their product the same thing with warm colors when you apply them on a painting it advances it comes to you it comes closer to you so usually artists use warm colors on the foreground the foreground is this part the one that's closest to you and the middle ground is the next and the background is is the farthest from from what you see so here the foreground is this trunk of tree and I didn't put warm colors instead I put warm colors on on the background because I want the warm colors to advance in other words um, I, I, I am actually deconstructing the theory that warm color advances and cool colors recedes so in, in, in this in this painting what I did was to use the reflection in a way 
to repeat the color in the background so in, in a way it's preparing you to go through the background and so usually you put the cool colors in the background which is usually the sky which is a cool color as we said yesterday cool colors are blue green uh, and purple because they are associated with cool objects like the sky and the grass so um, I love uh, playing with with textures as well so I try as much to put some textures on the clouds right on on top on the sky and with that we uh, I hope that you learn a little something about art and uh, I hope that you will be able to integrate um, all the gifts all the gifts especially uh, like I think that all art should be focused on on God as well so I'd like to thank God for for this gift that he has given me and uh, I've been painting since I was in my 30s so that's almost about uh, 20 years now and I never took uh, classes in painting or anything but uh, my school was doing a painting every day three to four times a day and that's how I became a painter thanks for watching and I hope that you will seek the Lord all the days of your life and and that you will see the fruit of, of being faithful to him in in the joy that he can bring in your life God bless have a blessed day